Right now what I'm doing, you guys, is in this, let's pretend she's my customer, my client. Um, I'm going to do a lash lift and a brow lamination at the same time. So this is a great thing that you can double service all at once. So you're basically making double the money in one appointment. In one hour, I'm going to be done with her, and I'm going to be able to charge her $99 for her lash lift, $99 for her brow lamination. That's $200 in one hour. Now, if I added tint, obviously my time is going to go over a little bit, like an hour and a half, but then I can charge $150 for each. So just to give you an idea of value. Now, when I start a lash lift and brow lamination service, I always start with the lash lift first. That's what I'm doing now. So I just went ahead and applied the, the, um, the gel pads. I applied some tape along her lash line, and now I'm going to choose the rods. So if you guys remember earlier when I was talking about the common issues, the common issue is not choosing the wrong, I mean the correct um, rod size. This is super important. There's small, medium, large, and extra large. And the one that you should go with is the one that matches the length of her natural lashes. So it's going to vary from client to client. So right now I'm going to grab my small rod and test it on her lashes to see if her lashes um, would fit this. So the way that I test it is I just hold it there without glue. I grab my tweezer and I'm going to pull her lashes onto the rod just to test and see if they wrap all the way back. The goal is to see the lashes go past the halfway point. So here I can see that they do. So that means that her lashes are going to be perfect for a small size rod. So I'm going to put this here. This is what I'm going to use, the smalls. And I'm going to put the other rods away because you never want to accidentally use a different size rod for one eye and then different size for the other one because then one eye is going to be more lifted than the other. So I'm going to put those away. And so the next step is just to apply some of this glue onto your rod. Now this glue is water soluble. It's not at all like eyelash extension glue. This is very, very mild type of glue and it goes away with water. So again, nothing like eyelash extensions. So I'm just gonna apply some of the glue on the back of the rod so that it can stick on the tape that I placed on her eyelid. And you guys can, if you guys want to, you guys can stand a little bit, if you guys want to see a little closer, and then like give it a little second and walk away so someone else can see. You guys want to see up close, you guys are very welcome to. Yeah, I recommend that, you guys. If you just want to like check it out, maybe come in groups of like, what, three, three four? Does anybody here do these services? I'm curious. You do? Yes. What do I you offer? Certified for lash lift and lash tint. Um, I do the brow lamination. Oh, cool. Yeah. Do you, is it successful for you? You notice yeah, a lot of it, clients. Yeah, everything you're saying, like it's so good. Like yeah. it's so, I mean, like not expensive and it's so quick to do. Yeah. Um, very low maintenance, uh, especially for like a lot of clients who are looking for more natural. A lot of them don't really like the, the extensions. It's too much for them. Um, like too much maintenance too, right? Right, and then it's too much like for them. They're like, oh, I always have to fill in my eyebrows. It's literally not just to be quick and go. Mm -hmm. So it honestly does make me pretty good money. Awesome, good. I knew I was like somebody in here has to do lash lifts. Like this is so popular, you know. So the next thing I do now is I apply some of the glue on to the rod so that I can start sticking the lashes onto the rod. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. If you guys see me here, I'm just holding it because like I said, this glue is pretty lightweight. It's not crazy hard like eyelash extension glue. So it takes a minute to dry. So I'm just holding it here. And then I'm gonna grab, this is called a white comb and I'm gonna push the lashes onto the rod. Are you okay, look? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, it's working. Yeah. <laughs> her lashes are really straight, so she's gonna notice a big difference here. So you're putting the glue that you just on the rod on the other um, side. So uh huh. Okay. Yeah. You know what we forgot to do? What? Before and after. Ah, uh, I know. We can do that another lash. Okay. Your eyes open. You'll be able to tell more right there. 
Wow, Melissa, you're going to be brand new. This I'm so excited. Don't make her move her muscles. <laughs> Do you have a self yourself like beforehand? Uh, yeah. You have to have yeah, 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 yeah. Are you using two different types of like, tape? No makeup, no lashes. Yes, I can yeah. Maria, so are you using two uh, tapes? Two different ones? Yeah. Yeah, so the blue tape, I like to use it underneath the gel pad because it's a stronger tape. So I want to hold all of her bottom lashes down really well. Okay. And then she uses this one too. Okay. So those are the tapes. The one underneath and the blue one first. Are so straight. I know they really are. Uh, that's why I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was just telling her right now, her lashes are really straight. So it's taking me a minute, and that's totally normal. Like, you just want to take your time. The goal here is to not only get the lashes onto the rod, but you want to get them to look very straight. Because how you put them on the rod is how they're going to stay, how they're going to perm. So I want them to go super straight. That's a nice uh, tool you're using, mm -hmm. butterfly-like. The white comb. The white it's got comb. two different sides to it. Mm -hmm. Do those little combs come with that product? I believe they do. If not, I just buy these on Amazon because the girls at the salon go through these so much, they throw them away sometimes. That's how I am too. Yeah. Because uh, there's no point in me trying to clean off all the glue. It gets stuck. stuck. Yeah. And then sometimes the little bristles on the brush side, they break. Yeah, that's what I see. So what product do you use? It's from um, Amazon. I can't remember the brand name. I'm always ordering it, but I never remember it. But it is from Amazon. Um, so I, my nail lady, she teaches classes. She has like all kinds of licenses, and she's always teaching them. And so that's why she's like, you know, as you get into it, you can always choose to do more expensive, more high-end um, products. But when you get started, just start with something. This is like a really good brand to start with. And it's actually really good. I love the way it lasts. Nice. You just can't get away from the smell, huh? Yeah. If you, um, if you remember it, could you send it to... Uh, yeah. You know, YouTube channel. Me? <laughs> Um, we do, but I, I'm so bad. I don't really post. Um, I'm really big on social media on Instagram. I'm writing her Instagram over here. You guys want to oh, follow yeah. her as well. So, I know they're in the pamphlets, but if you guys want to do that, you guys can. Yeah. 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 And we have a lot of other online courses, like I mentioned. And we have a lot of online courses, like I mentioned. So, um, we also do free workshops. Yesterday, we did a free workshop. Like, like this right here, we did it for free at the salon. Um, and we have like a really pretty academy that we just built fits 10 people at a time. So if you reserve, you can, um, you can come learn like in person. Do you offer different workshops for different services? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, I'm beginning to now that our salon is ready. Yeah, I'm going to. Can you guys read my, what, my writing? I think it's about Oh. <laughs> what Instagram are you putting all of them? I'm, I'm just putting your permanent one. Okay, do the lash pause, yeah? You want to do your lash pause? And the other, the salon, both salons. Do you want me to write it? Yeah. <laughs> And the glue is uh, Elebina. Um, this glue, they Elebina has one, but I found a cheaper one on Amazon that's um, a good quality as well. So I just like getting it on Amazon. If you just type in lash lift glue, you find them. Elebina can be a little bit more expensive, so I just rather save the money for the product mm -hmm. and not for the glue. What and is, this was water soluble, right? It's water soluble. Sorry. What brand is it? The glue. Uh -huh. 
see. I would have to check for you, babe. Just look, uh, lash lift glue, uh, water soluble. Yeah, I think it's like $20 for a pack of two. Yeah. It's a great th thing to practice. Even if the students want just to practice the application of the lashes, you know, this is tedious, takes time. They need to work on their speed. That's good. Just to glue the hair. Are you doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you. All right, so I'm done with one eye. I'm going to move on to the other eye. You're a good camera person. Oh, thank you. you. Just hold on to the camera the whole time. Your arm doesn't get tired. She has lots of practice. She has practice. Do you do this every time? Thank you. Yeah, of course. There's these baby hairs here popping off the rod, and that's normal. That means that they're babies, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't want to process them. So I'm not going to force them onto the rod because I want them to grow up, let them be adults, and then I can process them in the future. Oh, so God, whenever you see these little babies hanging out off the rod, just let them be. It's okay. Yeah. You just... Can I go? Yeah. And the glue, does it dry fast? No, it takes, a, it takes like a whole minute. To, okay. You see how like I push it up and then they fall back down. So you have to give it a, a few minutes to like get tacky. Mm -hmm. Just be very precise on how you. And the speed is the important lashes. because it will it will dry yeah. and then you have to reapply, reapply. Right, right. I'm sorry. What was your question? Just be very precise how you place the lashes. Yeah, you want to because that's how it will mold. Right. As straight as possible. And then I think while that's processing, she'll start on the brow. How much pressure do you apply, or is it something that you just is like a feel, a feel thing? I definitely am applying pressure, but I'm always very light-handed. Okay. But I am pushing. Okay. How do how do you feel? It's perfect. I don't feel the pressure. But like you feel my hand on there moving. Yeah, right? I feel it, but it's not uncomfortable. <laughs> I think the number one issue of people doing this for the first time is that they're being too gentle. Mm -hmm. So I always say like, touch get with confidence, there. get in there. And then you're just applying the the um, the glue to set them mm -hmm. just like a one section at a time right I do it in three so outer yeah. section middle section then inner okay. and what, what kind of glue is that again um the brand of it no like what is it just it's like a water soluble glue so that's the Omnia one Omnia. So her personal one is Omnia Lash Boss so go to that one, go to the bio, and there you're going to see a bunch of, like, a link tree. So those baby hairs at the end, you just leave those. You don't. Yeah, you like don't this one down here. No, I don't want to touch it. You see how I'm just getting in there? Do the clients ever, like, tear up and... No, not with this. No. How are you feeling? No, I was going to say in. I thought I was going to be tearing up, but I don't feel... So sometimes clients have holes in their lash line. That's either because the lashes stopped growing in that section. Maybe she pulled them out. Maybe the eyelash curler, curler pulled it out. So in this case, there's this gap right here of lashes, which there's really not much we can do. What I, what I like to do in that case is I like to tell my client, like, you're going to see a little bit of a gap, and that's because you don't have any hair growth in there. I recommend you get on a lash serum, drink your biotin to get the lashes to grow back in. But you always want to um, disclose it to your client whenever you see gaps because you don't want them thinking that you did it. All right, so we're pretty much done. This is the hardest part of the process, you guys, is just putting these lashes onto the rods. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and apply my solutions. So solution number one is what breaks down the hair follicle and the hair structure. It breaks it down so that it can be reshaped. So in these little packets, remember I mentioned that you can do three clients for one packet. Yeah. I used some of this yesterday on my on my demo, so I'm gonna use some of it today. 
And what I like to do is really mix the ingredients inside. Make sure you kind of give it a little push so that everything gets mixed up. And then you're gonna push out little by little at a time. I'm gonna put like that much. And then I'm gonna grab a, a really thin um, applicator and then grab the solution that I pulled out and then I'm gonna start putting it on her lashes. So this is a very, um, you have to be very detailed here. You wanna apply it only at the bottom half of the lashes, never at the tips, because we don't wanna process the tips of the lashes. So I'm putting it at the root and in the middle of the lashes, that's it. Do you touch the, the skin, like mm. the eyelid? No, only the hair. If you ever accidentally put it on her lid or anything, you just wanna remove it right away. And how would you so remove you, it? What did you call it, only to what? Apply the serum only to only to the middle of the lashes and to the base. How would you remove it if it got onto the uh, with the clean thing? applicator and maybe like a little bit of water, like you wet an applicator and then you just wipe it off. So you have to be very conscious of time. Um, her lashes are kind of medium to to thin in texture, which tells me the processing time should not be any more than six minutes, six to seven minutes. So I already applied it over here, which means the time already started ticking. Does anyone ever attempt to do it by themselves? Yeah, but you can burn your hair off and then it doesn't come out straight. When your eyes water, I tried. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, okay, good. That, that goes to the answer. Well, if I'm doing it to my clients, I'm going to try to do it on myself, too, you know? I mm -hmm. didn't have anybody do it. So I was like trying, I was like trying to tape this eye closed. I was like, oh my God, this is not happening. We always like to take these little things on us first, right? It's good to know for the viewers because I know they're going to ask questions Yeah. online. We always want to do these things to ourselves, huh? And you don't want to get the chemical in your eye. That's mm -hmm. the all right, so I'm immediately going to apply, oh, yeah. put my timer on. I'm going to do, I'm going to put it for seven minutes. But like I said, I already put this on like what, 40 seconds ago because yeah. I had to do the other eye. So I'm going to come over here and remove the solution 40 seconds before the seven minute timer goes off. It's that detailed when it comes to this kind of stuff. It's by the second because if you leave it longer than the time, her hair is going to start to fry. So it, you have to be very precise with the time. So don't leave too long. If you're gonna walk around, stretch, move around. During this time, I just tell her to relax. I'm gonna be back in about five minutes and I just clean up my area, um, texting people or whatever I gotta do. So I can answer any other questions you guys right now if you have anything else. What is the time frame um, depending on the quality of the lashes? The, like, for the oh. solution? Yeah. Good question. So um, solution number one is from five minutes to 10 minutes, 10 minutes being for people with thick, coarse hair. Her hair is light, uh, thin to medium. So that's why I chose seven minutes. So five to, to 10 minutes is the, the time for solution number one. Solution number two, it's one minute less of whatever you did solution number one. Very simple, yeah. Oh, quick question, I wanna know, what are your locations other than the chat flow from the North Ridge? That's it. That's it? Those, those two. Okay. Yeah. For now. Yeah, are you looking at the website and you see the Yeah, the I'm cities? trying to see via website and it says only, and I can only find one with the chat flow and I'm saying, well, I thought there was a Northridge, and then I looked at the bottom, like, oh, wait, no, it says coming soon with me. It wouldn't be on the website yet, available for what the services are. Right. Yeah, so we're opening that other location, hopefully this month. So when you apply the solution on her, um, like, they were, what about the baby hair? How do you do it that you don't touch the baby hair? Um, so the baby hairs right now um, are kind of popped off the rod, so I try not to focus on that. If I got any of it on there, then I can just grab like a clean applicator and then just wipe it off. Like right now, I can just go in and make sure that there isn't any solution on those. But honestly, um, it's a little hard to, to, to avoid them because they're just there. Um, That's why I was asking. Like, yeah. Because they're there, and of course you're going like, to touch them when you're applying it. Right, but I'll just like wipe off a little bit. Have a question. Mm -hmm. 
So, me being me, can you multitask? And while she's doing that, you can do the left. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. We're oh, doing both today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, yeah, good, good. I'm so I don't glad know, you because I don't know, maybe because of the time. time. We have time, so four minutes left. This is the beauty of this kind of stuff, is that you have so much downtime. So, let me move on to her brows. Um, in case she only booked for a lash lift, I would still try to upsell the brow lamination because we're already here. You know, we already have the same setup. Um, her brows can use it. So I would probably say, I would try to throw in a promo and say like for $50 more, do you want to do the brow lamination? We can try it today, see how you like it. Um, so do your best to upsell it. So the first thing we're going to do is apply. Um, remember, now we use a different brand, Beautiful Brows and Lashes. So same concept though, packet number one, packet number two. So I'm going to go with number one. I wiped off her eyebrows with some of my witch hazel. And I'm just going to kind of brush them to make sure they're dry because I don't want them to be too wet. I'm going to take a picture of her um, before. Yeah. yeah. Because of her dad's a little <laughs> Melissa, oh. you got That's the first solution. Mm -hmm. so it's like to you, prep. Hmm? It's like a prep. That was my question. If it was just to prep or the solution, is... no, it's no. This the is the actual product. Mm -hmm. This is the actual product that's going to break down the hair. So do you apply like a thick amount? Ah, uh, pretty thick. Yeah, I want to be able to see the white. So, so pretty the generous. That you're putting on the brows, packed in the same way that the one on the lashes is doing right now. Yep. They're both breaking down and then doing. With like a time crunch. Mm -hmm. So you want to work a little bit faster since the yeah. Yeah. So I have two minutes left on the clock, so I know that I this isn't perfect time. I'm telling you guys, the brow lamination is so easy, and for the price that you can make, it's like you have to offer it. It's like a no brainer. Especially if she's already getting a lash lift, you can just throw it in there for an extra 50 bucks, 45 bucks. Give her like a bundle deal because once she sees a result, she's going to be hooked and she's going to want to get this again. And then you can charge her regular price. And add on. And add on the tint. Yeah. How long did you say the lamination, the brow lamination lasts? About two months. They both do. Same. Okay. All right. So let's leave this here. Typically, I would like to cover it with a little bit of saran wrap, but I didn't bring it today. It's okay. The only reason I like to cover it is because it creates heat. So the heat activates the ingredients a little bit faster, so it kick starts everything. But it's okay. This will still work. So I have one minute left. I'm going to grab a wipey now. This is like a baby wipe, unscented. And I'm going to wrap it on my finger, and then I'm going to go and start removing some of that um, not some of it actually, all of the, all of the product of solution number one on the lashes. You want to do this kind of fast and you also don't want to over, over wipe because remember the, the glue is water soluble. Before I do the other side, because I have a couple more seconds, I'm going to set the timer for the brows. Now I need a, a second timer, right? Because this is for the lashes. This is for the brows. You got to keep two timers. So for the brows, I'm going to go ahead and do, she has pretty thin eyebrow hair. So I'm going to do five minutes. And now let me wipe off the other eye. That's too much. I would probably keep it at eight the longest. doing all right yes, it's good. Thank you. this is like nice and fast and easy it seems mm -hmm. like you know yeah, once you get is. like consistent with it the only part that's the hardest for the lash lift is laying down yeah the lash. that's literally the yeah that's, that's the hardest part time yeah all right so now i'm going to move on to solution number two for the lash lift and obviously now that it's in the curriculum we're, we're like certified, right? But before, can you open did you get a certification? No, I had to get a certification. Oh, okay. Yeah. But now, Ms. Nazali, that it's on the curriculum, we don't need to get certified, right? No, you're a cosmetologist that has lashes in the curriculum. Yeah, okay. So that's not in our curriculum. 
Okay. Yeah, I did it like during when COVID first hit. Uh, so I was going ice fighting with his um, I'm a team mom too, but then I was my season. What is this solution called again? So this one, Elibana oh. solution number two. And I was like, dude, like, I can't work. Setting like, lotion. Oh, setting. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, Again, you're generous. So, the solution number two is the same application yeah. from the root to the ends. Yep. <laughs> Leaving the ends. Not the and not the tips. The root to the middle. Yeah, yeah, root and middle. Yeah. Not leaving the tips. You see how I only go halfway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leave the tips there. Do you see any area that's untouched? Looks perfect. She she does that as well in her spa. Yeah. So she um does workshops with anyone that wants to do that surface. She will certify you if you wanted to do. That's in the pamphlets. You'll see that she can teach you guys how to do microblading, lash extensions, so on and so forth with her surfaces. Um, but now that we don't have to be kind of certified with lamb this. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's something great to yeah, say, invest in. I would still take the class. Even yeah. though we don't have to be. Wait, how many minutes do you live in the second solution? The second solution is one minute less. Sorry, than the first one, so six. I did seven for solution number one, so six for two. This is for the lashes. Mm -hmm. For brow lamination, I did um, five minutes on the first solution, and then I'm probably going to do four on the second. So um, you always go a minute less. Always go a minute less, but I haven't decided fully. I just did five minutes on the brows because I want to see if it's actually going to work. So we're about four minutes in. I'm going to start. I'm going to start just testing it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just testing to see if the hair has broken down enough. I think this is a question that you were asking me, the lady that was here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I just want to see if the hair is actually um, cooperating, if it's laying all the way down. Some of her hair is a little bit on the kind of rebellious side. She has like really, really stubborn. stubborn. Yeah, it's like yeah, straight. So as I'm brushing it down, one or two hairs are just stubborn and they want to come back up. So that tells me that that hair specifically is not ready yet. So I'm just going to give it the full five minutes. Now... Um, if you did five minutes and you're doing this brushing and all the hair is standing up, that means that you need to give it another minute or two. So it, it's always good to start with the five minute mark and then go test it. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So in your locations, do you do one-on-ones or is it mostly like a group when you do like these courses? It's both. Okay. I have a combination. So it's different pricing for one-on-one, -on -one, but I do offer it because personally me, I'm somebody who loves learning one-on-one. -on -one. Um, because I just, I want all the attention. I want to be able to, um, to pick at my, my instructor's brain and ask her all the questions. Um, so that's just the way that I learn best. That's why I offer it. Um, but my, my, uh, group courses are not too big. I think we only like the lash classes, we fit up to six people. And for microblading is about five to six people as well. And, um, I always have a helper. Yeah, so when you do have the saran wrap, I would only leave it on for about three minutes and then take it off and test it right away so versus minutes. waiting five minutes. It's okay. so about three minutes because it activates faster. All right, so it looks like your hair is pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and take it off now because all of it is laying flat. So it's cooperating. So that was about five and a half minutes, let's say. So I take this off. Remember, the, the lash one has another two and a half minutes. So I have time to apply solution number two over here. I'm going to go ahead and dry her eyebrows before I apply solution number two. So I have my little cool little fan here. Oh, I like that. From that. Amazon. Everything's on Amazon. Everything's on Amazon. Literally, I have the same fan. It's so it's so oh, yeah. cute. I need that. We actually oh, sell it so. as well to customers like for the aftercare. The ones are cute, but I like that one because it's very direct. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to buy it. Oh, I'm so, so are you setting how you want the shape to be? Not really. Right now I'm just stretching it. Kind of like a blow dry. I'm just stretching all the hair so it can dry. And then I'm going to go in and apply it. 
solution number two. I have one minute and a half left, so let's go ahead and apply solution number two. What does the first solution do? Does it just like, is that where you're going to give the shape or like how you're going to flatten them out? or? That's how you flatten them and break down the hair to get it ready for a new shape. Got it. Solution number two is what locks in the new shape. So I'm going to stretch all the hair, make it really straight to lock it in. And do you have to thread it? Threading? You can offer threading after the service. I like to tweeze and I like to um kind of like so you could tweeze. Mm -hmm. I like to do like a little razor you'll see right now. If you're gonna offer tinting, you might want to do um bra mapping. Like it adds a little bit more time to your service. You have to know how to bra map. Yeah, with the ruler kind of thing. Yeah, we're actually going to create a course for brow mapping because it works. Brow mapping is good for all beauty professionals who are doing anything to do with um, eyebrows, whether it be waxing, um, threading, brow lamination, um, microblading. Like, brow mapping is really important to learn. So, we're going to create a course. And so, you do have to make, uh, to make, the, make the, some type of procedure to clean it up, right? Yeah, I, I like to offer it. You okay. should. Because here it could look like more clean. Or, yeah. yeah, and here's the thing, you guys. A lot of these services are now because I heard somebody say you can buy, you can buy the kit online. Okay, so that's my cue to remove the setting lotion on the eyelashes. Okay, um, I'm gonna put the timer for the eyebrow. So I'm gonna do four minutes. Um, you can buy a lot of these kits on Amazon and do them on yourself, right? Like lash lift and brow lamination oh, nowadays. So you can do a, a lash lift on yourself? Well, you shouldn't, but I'm saying like people sell it. Amazon sells it, and so I see a lot of people doing it on themselves. And but, so this is what I'm trying to say is when you are offering this service, you want to offer more than just the service. So whether it be a free cleanup by tweezing or, or threading, whether it be like a conversation with your customer there's many other things that you can add value to your appointment because some of these people are going to say well i can just do this at home but if you give them more value at the appointment they're going to see why they should come to you instead the results will be better they're not going to be burning their eyes or their lashes or their eyebrows do you have a lot of uh, male clients no not really um, but I have had some people ask if we can curl men's eyelashes because some of them are like really straight. Um, but funny story, let me tell you guys. She huh. is um, the, the male brow master. So she knows how to microblid men's eyebrows. It's different than women's. Yeah, it's a lot different. Whereas women, we want nice arches. We want a nice defined tail. We want, you know, symmetry, men brows. We want the complete opposite. We want them to look bushy. We want them to look a little uneven because, let's face it, nothing is ever even. Um, it's also, there's no pattern. So you kind of just do what you want to do. You kind of freestyle it, which is a little scary because when I first learned, I learned with patterns. So each person has a different hair pattern. So I would follow that. But with men, you kind of just do whatever looks best on them. So it's a, it's, it's a little different from this, but it's fun. There's a lot of guys who need microblading. Yeah. Even if it's just to, for men, they really just want to fill in the gaps or like say their heads are very sparse with hair. You kind of just fill in that. Whereas with women, you kind of do the whole brow. Men, you only fill in the gaps where they need it not the whole brow. All right, so I know you guys can't see this, but I'm using a little dental brush to really um, get in there and between all the hair and brush her eyebrows upwards because I wanna create the most stretch possible. As the, as the second solution is on there? Yeah. And what if you were gonna tint the Maria? Would you do it before, after? I would definitely do it after this. Okay. So once I remove the tinting solution, I would wipe off her forehead completely, and then I would brow map her uh -huh. once her skin's dry, and then I would apply the tint. Yeah. So I'm gonna let that sit for another minute. Now her lashes are done. 
Now I'm gonna grab a, a brand new wipey and I'm going to start rubbing her lashes off the off of the rod. So you just rub you just rub back and forth. Remember, this glue is water soluble. So since your wipey is wet, it's kind of removing the glue. So there you go. You see that all of the lashes are removed from the rod. And then I'm just gonna remove the rod. This is reusable, so don't throw it away. You gotta wash it and sanitize it in barbicide. And then I'm going to remove the tape. We remove this. So around this time is when I start going over aftercare. What was your name? Then? Melissa. Melissa. So don't wet your lashes. I'm going to give it an extra 30 seconds. Don't wet your lashes um, or brows for 24 hours. After that, you want to use aftercare, which is going to be our lash and Botox um, solution. Or you can use oils. You just want to use it daily. Because again, we process your hair. We basically permed your lashes and your eyebrows. So you're gonna notice that if you don't condition them, they're just gonna become really brittle until you get a new set of eyelashes in about two months. So what I recommend to keep your lashes healthy and strong is condition them daily. What oils um, do you recommend? Oils could be like um, coconut oil, castor oil, uh, things like that can be helpful. How many times a day? Twice a day, morning and night. At the bare minimum, just do every night. Do you recommend something that she doesn't have to do between 20? Just make sure all of the solution is gone, and then I'm going to dry. We're all done. So at this point, what I like to do is I spend some time um, cleaning her eyebrows with a little razor and, and a tweezer, and then I apply a little bit of concealer or powder around her eyebrow and her skin because this stuff can irritate your skin a little bit. Oh, my fan is dead. Which Maybelline um, water mascara? Because they have multiple. It's a, a gray tube with baby blue writing. Removing any like excess glue. You don't want to let your client go with like sticky eyelids. Sometimes it could happen, but. Um, so I like using these to kind of clean up her eyebrows and get all of the hair. You just have to be careful not to um, point it at her. You want to make it flat on her skin versus pointing like this. So just lay it flat on her eyebrow bone and then just little by little, you can start removing all the little vellus hair. And then to be more precise, I like going in with my tweezer. But first I just get rid of all this extra little fluffy hair. You charge extra for shaping? I don't. Like I was saying earlier, you wanna always find a way to give more value for what they're already paying for. So this is just, we just throw it in there. Um, if they're doing, threading. no, um, if they're doing, well yeah, threading we charge, um, what's it called, tint. That's when we do charge. And I like to do the top and bottom. Don't forget to do the top, you guys, because a lot of people that do eyebrows don't clean up the top, but I think it looks really nice and clean. She was wearing a little bit of concealer, so it's kind of all over the place now, but I think we're done. Damn, now I really do wish we took a before. Oh, that looks really nice. She got a before. Go ahead and open when you're ready. Yeah. One eye. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, the eyebrows. Yes, I do. Melissa looks so good. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. All right.